Hello, and welcome to Rise of Tron Idiotics. Yes, I know, it has been a while since I have uh, done any videos for this channel, and for that I am sorry. I have had other things in my life uh, to deal with. I have I have a job, uh, I do have a job, so I am wanting to do other videos. However, I will get to those as soon as I'm done talking about my vacation. This first picture is of a uh, wind device that allows you to figure out where the, which direction the wind is coming from that is unusually shaped. Uh, found this one at the uh, rest stop just south of the Virginia, South Car I mean, Virginia North Carolina border. Uh, thought it was interesting, so I decided to take a picture of it because, well, why not? This next picture and the one after it are just some of the pictures of the scenery that I took while I was on my way to uh, Macon, Georgia, wh while I was on my vacation. They're quite beautiful, uh, you know, for anybody who's, you know, who lives inside of the city, it's actually, you know, it's quite beautiful scenery you'll see if you just take, you know, slow trip and just look while you go. This picture is a of a replica of the Western Wall in Jerusalem that is just outside the synagogue in Macon, Georgia. This is, well, me praying at this replica of the Western Wall in Macon, Georgia, once I got there. And, well, this is a picture of me standing in front of this wall in Macon, Georgia that's also, well, in front of the synagogue in Macon, Georgia. This is the inside sanctuary of the synagogue in Macon, Georgia, called Beth Yeshua International. Um, the wood and the wood, that, wood behind the pulpit area is the Ark, which houses a 300-year-old Torah scroll. The stained glass windows on the right and the left side, each one, six on each side, each one represents a different t t one of the twelve tribes of Israel, and they're all quite beautiful and amazing. This is the back of the sanctuary, also made to look like a representation of the Western Wall in Jerusalem, up to and including the plant life. This was a picture I took uh, while the Torah procession was going on in the synagogue, because, well, at this synagogue, during the first Sabbath of the month, we read from the Torah. And I figured I'd take a picture of it just to show how amazing this is. And that person standing up there at the pulpit area is Rabbi Greg Hirschberg, um, who, yes, he grew up a Jew, and, uh, you know, in the Bronx, and all that good stuff, and he lived the life of a Jew, but got saved, uh, <laughs> of all times, on the first day of his honeymoon, and all that good stuff. He it does all the teaching at this synagogue in Macon, Georgia, and he is a friend of mine. And while he was there doing his lessons, um, we found a lot of things because of how interesting the trip was that matched exactly what it was my, me and my family had gone through during our trip. Afterwards, when I said, when I went up to say hi to him, his eyes lit up like he had seen, a, like he just lit up like nothing else. We were worried he wouldn't have recognized me after almost three years since the last time we'd encountered each other, which was in Israel. However, he recognized me as if he had, as if it had only been a day or two. And, well, <laughs> we hugged and, well, we, we got to talking and all that good stuff. And we had an amazing time after the service. And that, my friends, is some of what happened during my vacation while I was away during this weekend. Um, if any of you would like to leave a like, fine. If you want to comment, that's also good. If you want to uh, ring the bell, just in case I do decide to sometime in the future do another video, go ahead. Anyways, so long and stay safe, everybody.